So something that has actually been really useful and it was one of the first things I did is it's really easy to leave like a door or a gate or something open and not remember it. So in the other videos I've shown how they've got like two garage doors and one's into like a, a low risk area and one's a high risk area. Uh, so I've only connected the external one in terms of having a trigger that can open or close it via IoT. But on both of them, there is a proximity sensor. And again, it's another Akera device, talks over Zigbee. Now, because I've got a proximity sensor on each, I know when it's open or closed. So the external one actually works in conjunction with the Shelly that triggers it open or closed to create a cover in Home Assistant. So what it's effectively doing is it's got one device to tell whether the door is open or closed and another device to actually open or close it. But what's really useful is now that we're sort of a little bit darker at evening time, we're getting towards sunset, what if I have forgotten to close the garage door? So there's an automation. If the garage door is open and the sun has set. The sun has set and the garage door is still open. Which is actually really handy. And I want to get it on other places around the house as well. In fact, I want to get one on my boat shed which is like down there under like all of the reinforced concrete which is a problem then because then you've got issues with the Zigbee range so I've got to have more Zigbee range extenders to somehow get through the house through the reinforced concrete and down to there as well but the sensors themselves are just super cheap little devices and they're, they're just a little magnet they're just a, a little device where you put one on the door and then one on the wall or whatever it is where they're next to each other once the thing is closed and apart from each other when it's open and it's job done. So that's uh, proximity sensors.